In today's video we will talk about how do ants breathe. Keep your diaphragm and chest completely motionless while opening your mouth and throat. You aren't completely holding your breath since random diffusion of air molecules will allow some oxygen to enter your lungs. Keeping up with your body's demands, though, isn't nearly enough. You'd need a considerably smaller body or more than one throat to survive without a diaphragm actively pumping air in and out of your lungs. Ants possess both. Ants have nine or ten pairs of spiracles along the side of their bodies, depending on the species. Each spiracle is connected to a branching network of tubes known as tracheae. Insects' tracheae work similarly to our lungs, but they don't require blood to transport oxygen from the tracheae to the rest of the body. Instead, the tracheae are found all over the body, with each branch ending in a cul-de-sac with a wet end wall that meets the cell membrane directly. This method is only effective in small animals. Once the body becomes more than a millimeter or two, the tracheae become too lengthy for air to diffuse quickly enough. Larger and more energetic insects must complement their passive breathing system by pumping air along the tracheae by flexing their abdomens. However, ant-sized insects can get along without it. In fact, according to a 2005 study from Berlin University, many insects this tiny must occasionally close their spiracles to avoid inhaling too much oxygen. I should call you a hero because you have reached this time. Write I am a hero in the comments and because you are one of the distinguished followers of the channel. I wanna ask you what is the best thing in today's video, see you in another video soon.